Good evening, everyone. How is everyone doing? Okay, so we're going to do something that a lot of people ask for. And um, I figure I'll do it this one time. We're going to be doing a... Well, for right now, we'll call it a rain, heavy rain walk. Uh, with some commentary in it, but we do have a cluster of thunderstorms coming in. And I'll just throw the radar, uh, current radar up right now so you guys can get an idea of what's going on. So we have this big cluster of uh, storms moving to the um, moving to the east. And if you just saw them, <laughs> I got a little blinded there from that lightning strike. But um, you can see like it's starting to pop off a little bit. Now, a lot of these lightning strikes that you're seeing right now is as the storm is starting to make it over the ocean. I don't know if it's gonna be this strong. This is the dangerous thing about thunderstorms. You can't predict. Um, Mother Nature's gonna do whatever it wants to do. Looking at the models, it shouldn't be a severe thunderstorm, but you never know. So, as you can see, this is the line that's coming towards us right now. We are looking southwest. Uh, it looks like we got a big car carrier coming into the harbor out there. Uh, but we are looking southwest. If we come out here just a little bit, uh, this is uh, looking towards the west. And uh, the storm is going to be moving from west to east. So, of course, I'm going to try to keep the storm on my back. Now, I don't know if there's any winds associated with it or anything like that. All I know is that we are definitely going to get a boatload of rain. Uh, will it be as much rain as uh, the one I just did on Memorial Day? And there, there go some more lightning strikes. Um, I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens. But what we're going to do, the route we're going to take is we're going to take 92nd Street. Um, the 92nd Street overpass is right here, just behind me. The sun has already gone down. So even though it does look light, the sky looks light, um, that's just the auto, the auto exposure. It's actually dark out right now. Um, so we're going to be heading east. Now, while I'm doing the walk, we'll talk about things like how I plan for these, um, what type of gear I use. Yeah, we'll just we'll just talk about like what I do. Um, I know a lot of people are looking to pick my brain uh, with this type of stuff, so we'll do a commentary on this one, and um, we'll have some fun. We'll, we'll we'll try to have some safe fun, but um, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Anyway. Uh, this will fade into the rain part because I'm going to stop recording at this point in real time and I'm going to pick up once this storm gets here. So uh, stay tuned. All right, here we go. Rain has started falling. It is not heavy yet. It's getting there. We are gonna see some flashes of lightning. I'm going to keep the commentary to a minimal. I'll try to keep it to a minimal because I want to, you know, obviously talk to you guys about, you know, all the questions I get asked. But I will do my best to keep quiet when there is lightning so you guys can hear the thunder. Now, right now, we are on 92nd Street in Bay Ridge. We are heading east uh, we'll talk about directions because directions are very important when it comes to these storm walks I do it, it, it's very important in any kind of storm chasing it's about 8 30 at night now this is supposed to go on for at least an hour or two I'm not gonna have enough battery power to do a full like you know 90 minute walk here but 
we're definitely going to get a good, the, you know, I always plan it, so I might as well talk about this now. I always plan so that this camera is rolling toward peak times, so. How I plan these, I'm just gonna say this is not this is not something where I just go out on a whim and I just start recording. I have been doing storm chasing for about 20 years now. I know how to read models, look at the various types of radars. Um, you hear some thunder here. This might be one of those cloud to cloud thunderstorm thunder shower kind of things tonight so got somebody here with a dog there will be times when it gets really dark we are walking down some streets that are not well lit well they are well lit it's just you know there's a lot of trees blocking the lights so But yeah, I plan these days in advance. I know a lot of people are probably wondering, how do you do something like that? Um, I'll tell you, the uh, computer models that they use today, they're, they're pretty good. Uh, you could predict, you know, if you know what you're looking at and you know how to read data and stuff like that, you can, you can predict, you know, right down to the hour on a certain day. So I knew this was happening uh, 48 hours ago. Uh, I wasn't sure what time exactly, but as this, you know, the day gets closer, what happens is uh, the models will all tighten up, is what we like to say, with a time, and the time was between 8 and 9 tonight. I made sure I got a, to a position that had my back to the rain and the storm, because when the storm comes in, usually the winds will shift. You hear some thunder right now. And you just want to have the storm on your back for many reasons. Uh, the safety is the number one reason. If I have to uh, stop somewhere, at least I'll stop somewhere where my back is up against a wall. So. What do I wear? Um, that's a question I get a lot. So I have a pair of sneakers that I keep. You know, when I buy my new pair, I keep my old pair, which is, you know, they're still in pretty good condition. Um, and those become my rain sneakers. So, um, yes, I get soaked. Um, the umbrella, the only reason I have this umbrella is to protect the camera gear. I really don't care about getting wet. It doesn't matter to me. If I didn't have a camera and a mic, I'd just go out with a poncho. I don't know if you can tell, but the wall cloud is starting to pass over us here. I'm aiming the camera up. So we might get some wind here in a second. So uh, yeah, I, pay, I wear a pair of rain sneakers. I'll wear my cargo shorts. I don't have a backpack with me tonight. And that is because I am generally walking home right now. Um, I plan this to be as easy as possible so I can talk to you guys because uh, uh, two reasons why I don't do commentary on these storms. The number one reason is you know, I want you guys to hear everything and experience it the way I experience it without someone's voice talking over it. And then the other one is safety, really. I can't, you know, I got to really think about what's going on. And it's very hard for me to talk and think. 
is getting windy right now. But it's very hard for me to talk. Oh, we're getting hit with a downdraft. And I'm trying to figure out which direction it's going to go. <laughs> so I am going to stay like this for a second. You can see which way the leaves are blowing. There's a lot of leaves coming off these trees. That was a pretty heavy gust of wind, too. It's about to get pretty hectic here in a second, I'll tell you that. So I'm gonna have to make a choice. I'm not too concerned about lightning. Um, most of these lightning flashes look like they're cloud to cloud. You have cloud to cloud lightning, which is basically, you know, just lightning up in the sky. And then you have, you know, cloud to ground, that's your dangerous type. But you never know, it might, you know, the storm might strengthen, you know, that's the thing, you gotta be careful with these things. Um, is not a definite that these storms will stay weak. I will tell you the lightning is starting to pick up though. I'm coming up on 3rd Avenue right now. You can see this tree is dancing right now. It's starting to get really windy. I wonder if the auto exposure will pick up some features in the sky. Ooh, it is getting windy. <laughs> If I could get over to 3rd Avenue, which is the next block, I can perch myself up against the storefront. If I feel it's going to get a little dangerous. Here we go. I've taken the umbrella down for a second. So I can get up against this building. <laughs> nothing crazy yet. I mean, it's just uh, gusty downdrafts coming down. Uh, nothing crazy. It looks like we're gonna hang out on 3rd Avenue. Without an umbrella, it's not a big deal, but with this umbrella, <laughs> it's like uh, you're gonna turn into Mary Poppins. We'll fly away somewhere. You see some people here are walking around, probably coming from wherever they were at without umbrellas, so they're going to get wet. Let's see if I can get across here.
nothing strong yet. Um, nothing that screams, you're in trouble, Vin. Hear that thunder. That thunder is uh, overhead. I will say this. It is windy. Um, but nothing crazy yet. And we haven't gotten into the core. And what that is, the core is really the center. The strongest part of the storm where you get all the heavy rain. And the heavy lightning and the wind. We haven't even gotten into that yet. We may not get into that. You know, we, I, I can't tell you, you know, if things are going to get strong or weak. Just have to see how this plays out. One thing's for sure, we're going to get a nice flash show. With some thunder. Also, with these storm walks, this is where I do my slowest walking. Coming up on 4th Avenue. I'm going to stop here for a second. A lot of times you'll see me stop on corners during my walks. And that's really to, you know, just to assess the situation. Decide if I'm going to change direction. If I'm going to keep going in this direction. Sometimes I'll think about backup routes. Um, we'll stay here for a second and watch some lightning. We're on a corner of 4th Avenue and 92nd right now. The rain is blowing towards me right now, so. But that's the direction where the lightning is, so I want to show you guys some lightning. So right now I'm going to just say like this this is clouds of cloud lightning this is not dangerous lightning This is what we like to call a gentle thunderstorm All right we are going to move Rain is starting to get heavier now.
<laughs> We're getting hit with a gust here. That's because of the school, by the way. Unfortunately, the school is... It's the drafts up against the school are bouncing right back at me. <laughs> so I'm trying to get past the school here. I had a feeling that was going to happen. I, I saw the school and I was like, you know, this is going to be pretty turbulent when I come down this block. You know, what'll happen is, you know, wind, wind will, uh, what it'll do is it'll bounce off of things. So, and the taller the object, well, the taller the building, you're gonna have a lot of turbulence The thing is, right now, the wind is on my back, but uh, when I went by that school, it was, you know, it was coming straight at me. But we're away from the school now. I assure you, it is not as bad as it looks. I mean, it is... It looks like it's like really windy when you see the umbrella moving around, but it's it's really not that windy out. It was it was windier on the if you guys watch the Memorial Day. The Memorial Day walk I just did, uh, that was windy. All right, here we go. We still haven't seen any really heavy rain yet, so I don't know if that's going to happen. This area I was a little concerned about. This is the uh, overpass. I would show you the traffic, but the, that is the direction the rain is pelting me right now from my uh, right side, so I don't want to get the camera wet. Still no heavy rain. This is 
mostly like a light to moderate rainfall. And we looked at the radar earlier. It looked like it was going to pour at some point. And it might still pour. Um, but uh, none of that has shown up yet. I'll tell you one thing, if this was a severe thunderstorm or if there was any hint, you know, when I looked at the radar or the models or if they had issued any kind of warning, I would not be walking this route. So this route would be considered a dangerous route to walk during a thunderstorm because of the trees. Anything tall is a prime target for a lightning strike. Let me talk about that for a second. I get a lot of people. Um that you know they always mention metal objects lightning is not attracted to a metal object as will strike a tall object whether it's made out of metal or wood it doesn't matter yep, one second oh we're right outside the hospital <laughs> that's why it... so here we go another tall building i got to contend with maybe we should get on that side with the hospital one second So the wind is just bouncing off of this hospital right here. When we get past the hospital, we should be okay once we get past. There we go. It's better now. The wind is better. Uh, we were talking about lightning a second ago. Once, what was I talking about? Yeah, lightning will strike anything. You know, lightning will hit a tall object, metal, wood, brick. It doesn't matter. That's a big misconception that people make. Um, it will strike the tallest object it can hit. That means if you're on a beach, Right? Think about this. If you're standing on a beach and there's nothing around you, trivia question, which, which object is the tallest object? Well, that object is you. So if you're out in the middle of a beach, you are the tallest object. You are a prime target for lightning strikes. So that's why they always tell you to get off of a beach or get out of an open field. Now, more people die. Well, lightning is probably the most deadly uh, nature-related death you can get. But, you know, wind is up there. I mean, people can get hit with fallen objects. You know, a tree limb coming down, uh, a projectile getting thrown around. So... That was a lightning strike. So now, now you start, this is now, so this is good because now you guys get to see how I think um, when I'm doing these. And you guys watch me do these all the time and you know, everybody's like, hey, you know, he's just walking around nonchalant. That's not the case. I'm always thinking, I'm always 
adjusting. One thing I don't like is I'm, you know, trying to get away from uh, these uh, trees here. But this is Brooklyn, <laughs> so it's very hard to get away from trees. Making it back into my neighborhood right now, which is Zyker Heights. Those lightning strikes are out over the water to my, well, I guess if you want to say my, my right shoulder, behind my right shoulder, that's where those uh, lightning strikes are coming from. Rain is starting to come down heavier. All right, we're gonna stop here for a second. We're under an awning here. So I just wanna get you know, a little bit of a read of the weather. So yeah, this is uh, one of those situations where you know you got to be careful because uh, you don't know if the, the the storm is strengthening right now. the The odds are that the the storm would be weakening, um, and that is because of a lot of factors. Temperature. There's not that much stability in the air tonight. When I looked at the models. Um, but you could still, you know, put yourself in a dangerous situation because it only takes a few minutes. You know what I'm saying? Like it, when you, you're when you're doing these storms, it, it only takes a few minutes of a storm to ramp up for like five, ten minutes. That's all you need. And now you put yourself in a situation where what do I do? So well, the one thing I've noticed and I'm waiting for it, but I have not seen a flash of lightning for a few minutes now, so. There we go. Now, I'll tell you what I just, why I stopped. All right, so I wanted to see what type of lightning. Okay, so that was, uh, I don't know if you guys were able to see that. Uh, but the bolt was a cloud-to-cloud -cloud bolt. And what I'm doing is I'm basically gauging how the storm is right now, you know. Is it strengthening? Is it just going to stay like this? And seeing that bolt like that, kind of makes me feel a little bit better because that tells me that most of this is going to stay up in the clouds and we should be good crossing 86th street and we're going to be heading into we're in Diker Heights right now so we're back in my neighborhood and I, you know, what we'll do. We'll walk down the Christmas tree block, the Christmas tree, the Christmas light block. You know, where everybody goes for the Christmas lights every year. No Christmas lights, just lightning.
what we'll do is we'll get down, uh, I think we'll keep walking here until we hit 84th Street. We are on 7th Avenue. Now, I'm not, you know, calling out all the street names because I'm too busy uh, trying to pay attention to other things, but I will give you guys a rundown. We started on Shore Road and 92nd, and we pretty much took 92nd Street all the way down to Parrot Place. Uh, Parrot Place was the street we walked down that had the hospital. We made our way down to 86th Street. We are now on 7th Avenue coming off of 86th Street and I'm about to turn down 84th Street. Still no sign of torrential downpours, and I think at this point we're not going to get any. It's a dark block. Not a lot of light down here. And you'll get to see some of the houses down here. You know, they decorate for every holiday, you know, the Christmas houses down here. So some houses you will see down here will decorate. Uh, we're about to come up to one right now. Got a nice lit up American flag with red, white, and blue lights blinking. This is the, uh, oh, that was a big flash of lightning. This is the um, house that does all those, uh, that does the stage during Christmas. You can see he's got his... One second here. Give me a second. Don't want to get hit by a car. You guys can see the, uh, the amount of rain that is falling right now. saying um, this house usually does the stage with the talking Mickey Mouse you can see he always has his skeleton out right now he's dressed with the American flag shorts he's got USA shorts and USA looks like a tank top or something The wind has pretty much subsided a bit. I can see trees are moving a little bit, but nothing like earlier. Right now, in the highest point of Diker Heights, not good for lightning storms. A lot of trees, and we're in a high point, and I see somebody walking towards me. I might have to um, get into the street here, because they got an umbrella, and we're not going to fit. So, I'll just get in the street.
Where'd they go? Maybe it was a ghost. Or they probably went to one of these houses. We're gonna have to check the video. <laughs> I know I saw somebody came I saw somebody coming towards me with an umbrella. I hear a door squeaking, so they must have went into one of these houses. Well, it looks like I picked a good, the the a good type of uh, rainy night to do commentary because I really don't like to do commentary. I like to. Uh, well, let me let me let me let me uh, re say that. <laughs> I don't like to do commentary on these storm walks because. I would much rather you guys just listen to the ambience. And who wants to hear me talking during something like this? This is uh, very relaxing to listen to. The rain is starting to come down a little harder though now, I'll tell you that. And it's getting windy again. This might be interesting. Look at these trees are starting to dance over here. Let me get back across the street. We are about to start heading downhill here. Yes, if any of you recognize this block, this is the Christmas, big Christmas block. I'm not as wet as I normally am. I mean, my shorts are still generally dry. My sneakers are wet. Like, my feet are wet. And uh, that's that's normal because I walk right through puddles and everything like that. So I don't care about my feet getting wet. It's just making sure the camera doesn't get wet. Look, we, we were walking here just a couple days ago in the rain. 12th Avenue. Now we're going to go past 12th Avenue, though. We're coming up on 42 minutes. Another flash of lightning, but nothing crazy. So, yeah, this is... Uh, well, it looks like I definitely uh, prepared wisely today. It turned out to be another... I mean, this is how I envisioned this to be. I've, I felt that this was going to be a weak thunder shower, thunderstorm kind of thing. What I did get wrong was... I mean, I, I thought it was going to be a lot of rain. Like, but you could tell it's been on the moderate to light side the most of the walks, you know, so... We're going to be ending it soon. We're at 43 minutes. We'll probably end it down 
on uh, keep going down to about 15th Avenue and 86th Street you can still see there's some clouds cloud lightning going on but um, very calm You know, other than those two lightning strikes we had earlier, this has been a very relaxing type of walk. It's been interesting, though. We've had the last three walks now up on the channel have been thunderstorms. Or somewhat thunderstorm. So, you know the saying: "It never rains, but it pours." That was a nice one. That looked like a lightning strike uh, out on the water. Coming up on 13th Avenue. Now, one question I get a lot is, why do I do this? Um, I don't always do this. I do it, you know, now with the channel. It gives me a reason to do it more. Um, but as a teenager, I always enjoyed walking in the rain or in a thunderstorm. I know it sounds crazy. Some people would say, like, that you know, makes no sense. <laughs> I, you know, most people are saying, I'd rather be inside. Um, look, I don't go out in the worst, you know, worst, worst thunderstorms. Now I do because of the YouTube channel, so that's different. But, you know, when I was a teenager, I would, if it looked like the type of storm that wasn't going to be too dangerous, I'd, I'd go out with the umbrella and just take a walk. But now, with the YouTube channel, you know, you guys get to see this live in action. And I have, I used to do storm chasing with a friend out west when I was in the Navy. We used to go take time off and we'd do some storm chasing in Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma. You know, this is back before there was like easy, ready, you know, video cameras that you could carry in your hand like this one. And then over the years in the Northeast here, you know, I've been in some hurricanes and done a lot of nor'easters, bl blizzards, thunderstorms, so... Now, if you're new to the channel, this is my, you know, really the first time I've really done a walk where I do commentary during, like, lightning and thunder. But you can go back into my channel and you could look. We have plenty of footage of storms that are much more impressive than this one. And I don't say a word. As a matter of fact, we just had the last two uploads were some... It's, two really good ones we have the thunderstorm I did last July uh, that one's approaching a hundred thousand views so Getting to getting close to the end of the walk here. 
We're going to end it on 15th Avenue and 86th Street. So. Down one block, over two. Rain down the drain. Looks like the lightning is really slacked off, so looks like this storm has went to sleep a little bit. We may still see a couple of more flashes, but it really looks like this is, uh, you hear some thunder. Looks like this is it. But I hope everybody enjoyed this. Uh, we still got some, you know, some walking to do here. Um, maybe another few more minutes. If you guys like this, uh, let me know. Maybe we'll do another commentary with a storm. We'll see. feels like it's starting to come down a little harder now. Could you imagine right when I'm ending, that's when it all goes? <laughs> yeah, that's some very weak Thunder. That's, that's some very, what I like to call very high. Well, there's a flood over here. You know what? I know my sneakers are wet, but I, I still, that doesn't mean I want to walk through a pool. This, this, this whole area right here is all underwater right here. Wow. They need a new sidewalk. Couple people here with umbrellas. Well, one umbrella and one hoodie. Just wait. And look at that, it is starting to really rain now. Wow, we, we got in almost an hour of walking here. Well, one thing I have not done on this walk is wipe the lens. Uh, so... Well, this is it, folks. We're going to end it here. I hope everybody enjoyed this. Um, this is, again, this is not something I normally do when it comes to rain and storms and stuff. I wouldn't even say this that this was a storm. I would say it was more like a thunder shower. We did have a couple of good views of some lightning in the beginning, in the intro. We had a couple of lightning strikes when we were over by the hospital. 
uh, but it really never got heavy. We never got heavy rain. We did have a couple of moments where it got really windy, but it wasn't enough to really like, hey, this is this is crazy, you know. So. I'm gonna end it over here by Food Dynasty. We're gonna end it right where I grew up, Bay 10th Street. <laughs> this is where I used to live. I mean, I still live in the neighborhood, but I don't live on Bay 10th Street anymore. But um, yeah, Food Dynasty used to be uh, key food. There it goes right there. That's it. Well, wishing everybody a good evening or a good night, however you want to put it. It's probably around 9.30 right now. But I am going to end it here, right on Bay 10th Street and 86th Street. So I am uh, glad you all took the walk. Hope everybody stay dry, and we will catch everybody on the next one. Bye-bye.